Hello everyone, here we are having a logarithmic equation to solve. In this equation, the argument of log is given in the form of an exponential expression. So let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, first thing we do is to cross multiply the terms to linearize the equation and it becomes log of 9 minus 2 raised to the power x to the base 2 is equal to 3 minus x and at this juncture, we use the definition of log to get the value of 9 minus 2 raised to the power x as being equal to 2 raised to the power 3 minus x. Now, the logarithmic equation is reduced to an exponential equation. Let us see that how do we proceed. We multiply both the sides by 2 raised to the power x and the equivalent equation becomes 9 into 2 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power 2x is equal to 2 raised to the power 3. This equation can be written as 9 into 2 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power 2x is equal to 8. Bringing all the terms on one side and multiplying by minus 1 and readjusting, we get the equation as 2 raised to the power 2x minus 9 into 2 raised to the power x plus 8 is equal to 0. This equation is actually a quadratic equation in 2 raised to the power x and the value of 2 raised to the power x can be given by quadratic formula as 2 raised to the power x is equal to minus minus 9 plus minus under root minus 9 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 8 divided by 2 into 1 which becomes 2 raised to the power x is equal to 9 plus minus under root 81 minus 32 divided by 2 and it is further simplified as 2 raised to the power x is equal to 9 plus minus root 49 by 2. And this becomes 2 raised to the power x is equal to 9 plus minus 7 divided by 2. And this gives us two values of 2 raised to the power x, which are 2 raised to the power x is equal to 8 and 2 raised to the power x is equal to 1. We first consider the first value of 2 raised to the power x and 8 can be represented as 2 raised to the power 3 and 2 raised to the power x becomes equal to 2 raised to the power 3 and since the bases are equal, the indices also must be equal so we get one value of x as being equal to 3. Now turning our attention to the second value of 2 raised to the power x here this expression can be expressed as 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 raised to the power 0 again bases are equal so, the indices also must be equal, making the value of x as being equal to 0. Now, we look at the given equation and it can be verified that x is equal to 3 does not satisfy the given equation as the left hand side of the given equation becomes 0 by 0 for the value x is equal to 3. Hence, this value can be discarded. Now, it can be checked for x is equal to 0 and it can be seen that x is equal to 0 satisfies the given equation. Hence, x is equal to 0 is a solution to the given equation. Thanks for watching.